Hello friends, my name is Ankush. In this video we are going to see how to install the SQL developer. In my last video I have already shown you guys how to download the SQL developer from the Oracle official site. Let's see how we can install this Oracle how we can install this SQL developer and we will also try to connect to the Oracle 12C database by using this SQL developer utility. Okay. I have already downloaded the zip file SQL developer in the personal laptop here. The size of the SQL developer zip file is around 426. You just need to right click here and extract files. You will find a one folder will be created by using the same name as a SQL developer. Just double click here, then again double click. There will be one dots exe file which we need to run because as this is a Windows environment, dot exe file will be there. Just double click here. Make sure you run it as an administrator. With the administrator, then you will find some permission issue. Okay, so now this is the home page for the SQL developer. Here you can see one plus sign as a new connection where you can create a new connection from here. I have already one connection with me for the system uh, what I'm going to do I will create another connection for you guys to demonstrate how we can connect to the database by using the SQL developer so first just click on plus sign you can mention the connection name as anything that is up to you connection underscore system underscore new here uh, I am using the system to connect to the SQL developer if you want to save the password you just need to check it here for the time being I am not saving the password okay so these are the some couple of things that you need to take care while connecting to the database by using the SQL developer it will ask you about the host name which host name you need to connect what is the port num and uh, if you want to connect by using the SID or service name so these are the two options you can take it from it's up to you whether you want to take the SID or service name uh, there are a couple of things which you need to consider and you need to take care before connecting to the SQL developer the first thing when the SQL developer is trying to make the connection or user is trying to make the connection by using the SQL developer Basically, it is using the TNS names aura. So, again, the thing is, our listener should be up and running. When you are talking about the connection which are coming to the database, your listener should be up and running. If you want to check the status of listener, LSNR, CTL, status, and the listener name. I am using the listener itself as a listener name. So I don't need to mention the listener name here. Here you can see my listener is up and running. Otherwise I will get some error message saying a listener is not available or something like that. And which is listening to these services. These are the, you can get the services name from here itself. Port from here, uh, this is using the default port 1521, which is the default port for the listener. And some other things, uh, if you need it, uh, what else we need we don't need uh, local host host name you can find here itself host equal to local host okay port is 1521 service name I am connecting directly to the container database let me show something uh, here itself show PDBs so these are the three PDBs I have with me. 
pdb pdb1 and the seed which is the default one okay uh one as i told earlier the listener should be up and running and second thing is there should be a entry in the tns names dot aura to whom you are going you are trying to connect now i am trying to connect to the cdb which is a container database and you will find these are the parameters like services name dot host name you can also get these details to enter the sql developer from tns names dot aura you can use the net ca or net mjr utility to connect this uh, to create this tns names dot aura i will definitely show you guys in the next video how to create a tns names dot aura okay so for the time being let's connect i have already filled up this uh, information the first one is connection name system uh, password is also i have mentioned localhost okay let's test the connection okay the connection is successful there is no issue with the username password and with some other parameters let's connect it okay so this is how we have connected connection underscore system underscore new which is a connection name we have provided when we are filling that uh, the first prompt itself just click on plus sign you will see the number of objects which are owned by the system is checked now from here you can compile the procedure if it is owned by the system or you can do anything there are a couple of things you can mention so i hope you understood how to connect to the sql developer and uh, if you have any queries you can write mail to me thank you so much for watching this video see you okay